Hey guys, it's Terry Hansen again with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care, and um, I'm here with Bo. Uh, he's a six-month-old husky, and uh, he's here for a three-week uh, our, th our three-week board and train hybrid program. We're going to be working with him on basic obedience um, and as well as some uh, issues such as you know his potty potty habits and um, jumping, counter surfing, which if you don't know what counter surfing is, that means, you know, grabbing stuff off, getting up or grabbing stuff off of the counter, which is a very dangerous behavior. Um, dogs can get into things that are harmful to them, even something as simple as a washcloth, they can swallow that, it could get, you know, create a blockage, need surgery. It, it's, yeah, so it's a really, really bad behavior. So you want to nip that in the bud, actually proactively teaching them not even to be concerned with anything that's up on the counters. Uh, but anyway, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with him on the crate. Um, he is crate trained. We're going to see, you know, this is a new crate to him. He's in a new place. So I'm going to walk you through what we do and how we do it. Um, I'm guessing he probably has a uh, metal crate at home, which we have those also. But um, I'm actually using this crate because it's a little smaller. He has a habit of going potty in his crate. So less, the less room, the better, actually. Um, I just want just enough room for him to stand up and lay down, and that's pretty much it. Makes it, um, you know, easier to teach him don't go potty in the kennel. So, you know, dogs don't typically want to go potty where they have to lay, but sometimes they get in the habit of doing that. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to introduce him to this kennel, and we'll see how he does. Let's go. So if you've watched any of our videos, you know I don't want the dog just rushing the crate. Um, so I'm going to teach him to go in on command, right? too big. I might want to go even to the next size down. We'll see. Take pauses. Start to open the door. I'm going to be ready in case he starts to move towards the opening. Quickly after that first time. 
doesn't usually take as long. Even the head poking out. Don't want that. teaching him the down command because really what I want is for him to go in and go get and lay down and chill out, right? Not moving all about and stuff. So, uh, but for right now, good. Just working on him going in when asked and coming out when asked, or when invited, right? teaching him down and to go in and lay down and basically, you know, chill out. So, uh, so don't, um, you know, this, every dog is different. It's really important. You know, some are better at going in, some are better at coming out initially, but it's, it's about the training process and teaching them how to do this and uh, to listen to you, to follow you, impulse control, all of those good things. So anyway, again, this Terry, good dog coaching and pet care. And this is Bo. And uh, if you have questions or comments about the crate exercises, post, email, whatever you like. Um, info at gooddogcoaching.com. And I'm uh, happy to help you however I can. Take care. Bye. Let's go. Hey guys, it's Terry with Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care, again, here with Bo, uh, the um, six-month-old Siberian Husky puppy who's here for our um, three-week board and train program. And um, so we're working with him on going in and out of the kennel, and um, just wanted to show you his progress on that, and so you can see the difference from earlier today to now. So...
still working with him on, you know, going in, coming out, being able to move around with the door open, him staying in there. So I'm just marking, you know, that he's staying in there with the door open. That's good. good. Sit. Good. So I'm just kind of coming out in a respectful way, not shooting out like a rocket, like a lot of dogs do. Right? Not making a big deal about it, just saying let's go very calmly, very quietly. Kennel. So, using the word kennel, um, you know, pointing and saying it as he's moving towards it, marking it as he's going in. Um, I like to use the word kennel because crate sounds a lot like break, which is a release command that we use. Markers really help kind of speed up the training process because it marks the moment they get it right so they can make a, a quicker connection as to what it is you're looking for. That's good. Good. Sit. Good. And again, we're using his food, his daily kibble, his breakfast and dinner to work with him. We're not wrong. Sit. Good. We're not treat training, we're food training, okay? Food training is much more motivating to a dog than treat training. So, anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. That's good. Um, so you can just see the, the progress. Kennel. Good. And, um, you know, if you're working with your dog on this, um, you know, you just... Lots of patience, lots of repetition, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of repetition over and over and over. Um, it's not uncommon for you to be working on this, they're doing great, doing great, doing great, and then all of a sudden they're like, don't want to go in there. Totally typical and normal. Um, again, in the beginning I was just using leash guidance, holding his leash very close to his collar as I, my arm actually would go into the kennel, right, in the beginning and then slowly kind of wean him off that and, and you know, using the word and using the um, physical cue, which is me pointing to the kennel, um, get to this point. So, uh, also, you know, obviously leash on. That way you have better control of the dog. Um, a lot of the things that we do in the beginning would be impossible just about without a leash on the dog. So, um, so anyway, keep that in mind. And if you have questions, you can post them in the comment section or email me at info at gooddogcoaching.com. That's info at gooddogcoaching.com. Oh, one other thing I want to mention. You may notice that this kennel is not real big, okay? And that is very purposeful. One of the issues that um, his owners are having with him is him going potty in the crate, actually. So... I started with that larger one this morning and it was way too large. He had way too much room to move around. The more they move, the more they got to go potty. So for a few days, um, we're going to be using the smaller crate. He can sit and he can lay down. He, he can turn around also, but not much more room to do, you know, to do much more than that. And that's fine. The less he moves, the less he's got to go potty. So it's helping him to not have to go potty as often as well as, you know, dogs don't typically want to go potty where they have to lay. So, um, you know, when they've got more room, they can kind of potty over there and lay over here. And so that's why we're using this smaller crate. It's not to be mean or anything, but it's just to help him learn to hold it, right? So, um, and as we get him better at going outside, you know, and eliminating fully outside, then we'll, you know, give them a little bit more space. But I just wanted to point that out because if you're having a trouble with that, you're, you know, it, it's not real 
uncommon for dogs to go potty in their kennel, but it does happen. Uh, so anyway, one of this is one of the ways you work on solving that problem. And we can talk more about the actual whole potty training thing on another video. But anyway, again, Terry with Big Dog Coaching and Pet Care and Bo. Um, post in the comment section your questions or, or email me info at Good Dog Coaching and Pet Care. I'm sorry, info at GoodDogCoaching.com. And I'm happy to help you however I can. Take care.